the three billion dollar floating city in Japan. When it comes to innovation and advancements, Japan takes the lead. They are even known as the city that's living in the future, with hotels that use robots as their receptionists, to restaurants having orders roaming around using machines, bullet trains, and so on. Japan also has a strong presence in space exploration. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or the JAXA, has successfully launched numerous satellites and missions to study asteroids, the moon, and other celestial bodies. Japan has a strong culture of innovation and entrepreneurship. The government supports startups and innovation hubs like Tokyo and Kyoto, fostering a vibrant ecosystem for tech startups. There's nothing not techy in Japan. Another popular advancement in Japan is its floating airport called the Kansai International Airport. But you know what? Japan has no plans on stopping, as they are on it again. In this video, let's look into the three billion dollar floating city in Japan. But first, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest in the luxury world. At Luxury Mindset, we bring you all luxurious information ranging from items, cars, houses, places, and even people who bathe in luxury. Not only that, but we also give you pretty much the amount you would need to purchase any of these luxurious stuff. So if you're interested in the rich, becoming rich, or even dreaming of lying on a mattress of gold or dollar bills, click the notification bell to keep yourself updated on this channel. Consider an idyllic coastal town facing a shortage of available land. One approach involves venturing onto the water, depositing rocks, sand, and clay, and constructing on this freshly formed land. This practice, known as land reclamation, has historical roots, yet it often lacks environmental sustainability. Given the escalating sea levels attributable to climate change, it becomes imperative to reconsider our construction methodologies. While it may appear daunting, it presents an opportunity to revolutionize our lifestyles and extend our habitable areas from terrestrial to aquatic realms. Floating cities, while not entirely novel, present a compelling alternative. There are already examples of floating communities like Euro Silence on Lake Titicaca in Peru, floating villages in Cambodia, and houses built on rivers. And offshore platforms, often used for oil drilling, can be thought of as small towns. But now, these ideas are expanding on a larger scale. The United Nations has supported a South Korean project to create floating platforms near Busan. Saudi Arabia has proposed Oxagon, a floating industrial city, as part of its development plans. Taking this innovation further is a Japanese startup introducing Dogen City. This ambitious project is massive, with a diameter of 1.58 kilometers and a circumference of about 4 kilometers, covering a total area of 390 acres. The first part can house 40,000 people and functions like a self-sustaining city with a village-like atmosphere. This circular structure includes homes, medical research centers, food production facilities, and even launch sites for spacecraft. In the bay, there are adaptable floating structures designed for various purposes. The outer ring acts as a tsunami barrier with defenses to protect the inner floating parts. Everything in this city floats, similar to wind turbines or oil rigs. Using my architectural background, I aim to combine deep sea ideas with architectural design principles. This plan is extremely ambitious. It's like a big idea for a floating paradise that uses advanced technology to solve problems like climate refugees, affordable housing, and food shortages. According to the Global Center on Adaptation, if we don't change how we produce food, we could run out of land the size of North America by 2050. Think about Singapore's plan to turn every available city space into farmland and Rotterdam's floating dairy farm. Inside the public housing area, there's a special part that's designed to be a healthy place to live, and it's like a village built into a ring-shaped structure. This ring also acts as a barrier to protect against tsunamis. Inside this ring, in an artificial bay, there are facilities for growing food, generating energy, and handling waste, 
and there's even a third layer that could serve as a landing site for rockets. The idea behind Dogen City, created by Anarch, is to produce about 7,000 tons of food each year using seawater as a nutrient source for plants. So, in simple terms, it's a tsunami-resistant, self-sustaining refuge from climate change in the sea, which sounds really promising. But there's a big problem. It would cost a lot of money to build and maintain such a huge project. Yuki is changing his focus from construction to making more money. Originally, he wanted to create an animation about climate change denial. But now, he's interested in making a profit because construction businesses aren't as lucrative as tech giants like Tesla, Apple, and Microsoft, which do really well in the data industry. In this new direction, Dogen City is being promoted as a place for medical tourism. They'll have surgeries done by robots and use AI to monitor people's health. They also plan to build an undersea data center. Even though data centers use a lot of energy and are expected to use 20% of the world's electricity by 2025. Yuki hasn't told us how much this project will cost because it's still in the early planning stages. But it could become a model for other places. Yuki's big dream is to do similar projects all around the world. Floating cities might sound like something out of science fiction, but they're actually becoming a growing industry. This year, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change included the idea of floating cities in its report for the first time. And there's a good reason for that. Many cities along coastlines, like the Maldives, New York, Miami, Shanghai and Bangkok are dealing with a growing problem of rising sea levels. They're running out of land to expand onto, and they urgently need ways to create more affordable housing as space becomes scarcer. Right now, cities can only provide 40% of the space needed to house the world's population by 2050. Maybe Dogen City, as Yuki envisions it, won't turn out exactly as planned. But Yuki's vision is getting us to think about how we can build more efficiently at a time when we really need to make significant changes. Climate change is forcing us to rethink the usual ways of doing things, and ideas that seem like science fiction today might become our reality in the future. So are you guys excited about this project? What expectations do you have in mind? If there's anything we missed about this project, let us know in the comments. We would love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the notification bell to stay updated with the latest in the luxury world. Only here at Luxury Mindset. See you in the next video.